Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. This is part four of the Selenium Idea PM series. I hope you have enjoyed the last three parts. And this in this video, I'm going to cover additional locating strategies provided by Selenium Idea PM. Use when you when you're using Selenium Selenium, you could leverage few extra uh, locating strategies which is not present in APM. Again, you can also use the same strategies that you use for APM. There is no change in it. If you don't want to use any of that, that is completely all right. But I'm going to demonstrate how using this particular locating strategies can help you to avoid complex codes, right? And this is going to be a very interesting video. And let's get to the IntelliJ without wasting a lot of time. So for example, uh, in the previous test when ran, uh, we used page factory and we find the elements and get the first element and we clicked on it, right? Um, if we take a look at this app, so all these elements has the same locating strategy. So I could find all of these elements. If I use this XPath, I could find six elements, okay? All these six elements can be found of this. So if you want to get the second element, you can change to two, you can change to three, you can change to four, whatever. Or um, if you don't want to handle it here, Let's say you want to handle it in the, uh, you know, the problem with page factory is, let's say uh, it is constant. So uh, if you want to create an XPath for the first element, you have to create like this, okay? And let's say if you want to create one more, right? So if you want to select the second product, so let's call it as product two. And if you want to select this, you have to just change this. So the, the problem with page factory it, it only allows you to have constant things. You, you cannot change it, right? So this is this only allows you to have constant values. So that's the problem. And that's the reason why people normally use uh, by locators so that they could add to the string the way they want, right? So what people normally do is they, they will have string locators. For example, uh, let's say uh, private uh, string, and then we can have it as product one, and people normally have something like this. So let's change this to uh, single quotes. And then instead of this, OK, so yeah. So we can wrap them, and we can put percentage S here, right? Percentage S. That's it. So now, if you just pass the index here, um, you can find the element easily, right? So this is for Android, right? So product one Android. And for product one iOS, maybe first we will deal with Android, okay? And somebody click. So I'll just change the name of this particular thing to click on click a product, okay? And then people might pass uh, index, right? So if they pass the index, we're going to use that particular index to find the value. So this is how normally you know people do it, right? So they use string dot format and then product one dot android uh, comma and whatever the index that is coming, uh, I can use it, right? And this is going to give me a, a locators and using that I can put by dot x path and this formatted string. So, okay. So this is the Android X path, right? So Android X path, right? This is how people will use dynamic locating strategies and then you could directly pass this here. So this is how people normally use it, right? And if it is for Android, uh, we have to do all this complex stuff, right? That's why people, uh, you know, not use this and this uh, and use by. But the problem with this approach is for Android, you have to create one. For iOS, you have to create something like this, right? And you have to use this particular stuff. Right, so the, the, you have to use something like this, um, and then you have to write if if driver. If you want to get the driver, you have to use get web driver instance of Android driver. If it is Android driver, you have to use Android XPath. Otherwise, you have to consider the iOS XPath and you have to put it. So there is a lot of complexity involved in this stuff. So to solve all these problems, okay, the first problem is, uh, no, we don't want to use this particular page factory because it is constant so we can use uh, by locating strategies and the second problem is when using by locating strategies 
we have to write if condition and check whether it is Android, we have to use this, whether it is iOS, we have to use this. So in order to solve this problem, what we have created is, we have created a new class called as combined by, and then where you could have uh, combined by dot Android, and you can pass the, uh, let's say by dot X part. So once you parameter the string, and then you can put it here, right? And then iOS, and then you can put product one iOS. So this way, um, so this is by dot X path, and then, yeah. Right. So this is how you can have one locators to store both this Android and iOS. So in your code, you can simply use product one. And this combined by will automatically check whether it is Android driver or iOS driver. And, and based on that, it will choose either this particular value that you pass here or this particular value. So it will be taken care automatically. So you don't have to put the if condition. Okay, Amudan, you mentioned about APM selectors, but you are speaking about different problem. Okay, let me come back to the original problem here. So the original problem is um, the X paths here are very complex, right? <laughs> we don't want to use complex X path like this. Uh, okay, so the same X paths here can be written in different ways. Okay, so the one of the way here is let's say we call it as by. APM selector. So there is a class called APM selectors where you could use any of these methods. So for example, here, this is content description, right? Content description is an attribute. So you can also use that. So I can use by attribute and then content hyphen description um, and then store item or store item. So this is how you can construct this. So very simple, right? So there is no at the rate opening brackets. You don't need this, uh, you know, a tag value and all that. So, and let's say you want to find it using partial string. Okay. All you have to do is instead of by, you could use with. So which means it will look for contains text. So instead of store item, you can even find it using IT or even store or just like this whatever you want to find and then you, there is also other ways like you know uh, with content description but so if you go to directly you no know, there is a method called content description where you can just mention what is the value that you want to find okay that's it so you don't have to even put even this one so if you if you if you are working with content description which which you do most of the cases you can directly do that okay and then similarly you can use uh, with content description, okay, uh, which is just partial uh, value. So you can use something like this. And then apart from that, you can also use by tag and content description. So sometimes you want to mention a tag uh, and then this is the tag uh, and, the, and the value of the content description is go right up. So similarly, you could find all these elements. Same way for here, we have used at the rate name and then we have written an X path. So for that, all you can do is, so let's call it as it by six and here by name. So by name, so this is by name, right? So you can also use by attribute. So that is also you can do uh, by attributes. Uh, and then the attribute name is name. Um, and this is the value. So you can do that. Okay, similarly, you can use with attribute. You can also do that. And also apart from that, uh, we can use by name directly, right? By name or by tag name, with name or with tag name. You could do any of that to find the element. So look at this. So the same piece of stuff that you have written here, you can write it easily um, with the help of uh, these additional selectors. So let's do this, okay? So uh, you can create a combined by, and then you can pass uh, so you want to find the first one, you can use the by one for Android and this is directly by six, right? By six is, is basically the way to identify iOS. So, so until here it is Android, uh, you can also fit frame five to six ways for identifying the element in iOS. But in this example, uh, I will simply use uh, by one and by six to, to locate an element. So 
So there is no change in the code. So product one is similarly the same. You can find the first element and you can click on it and everything should work absolutely fine. So let's, uh, you know, we have customized this. We don't need it anymore. So just remove it. So, so that's what guys. So the first problem is uh, to summary, to give a summary. First problem with page factory is uh, it, we cannot use constant values. So you want to go to by locators. If you are going to by locators, it, it doesn't avoid any complexities. So you can use APM selectors. But the problem with using by is you cannot have just one variable to store both the locators. That's why uh, Selena APM we have introduced combined by where you could use just one locator, uh, one variable to store both the Android and iOS locators. And it automatically chooses based on what is the driver that is uh, currently activated. So, so yeah, that's all about it. Uh, maybe I will quickly run the test and see whether it works. So this, this is very cool, right? You could basically leverage all these kind of uh, locators, additional locators uh, to write your test. Pretty, pretty cool. I, I personally saved a lot of time in debugging all these stuff. So the test actually passed and everything works absolutely fine. I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada, bye-bye from Amudan. Bye.